Hey friends, June 2nd, welcome to Central Texas Homestead. Uh, we are in the kitchen. We had our first jalapeno harvest. So when you have your first harvest, the peppers pretty much are not gonna be really large, okay? Um, the plant's gonna put out a bunch of different smaller peppers. If you don't harvest, they're really not gonna produce much. Uh, so I like to produce, and, and I'm sorry, I like to harvest when they're really small because there was a ton of peppers on each bush. That's gonna tell the plant, hey, it's time to produce more. So when you wanna produce more, you wanna harvest early. So we've got a bunch of small little jalapenos. Hey, a small jalapeno is a jalapeno. <laughs> but what we're gonna do today is something that we, we ran out of. We love it. It's called cowboy or cowgirl candy. And it's basically uh, candied jalapenos. Um, we do ours a little different. I've got a recipe here that I'm going to go ahead and put down below in the comments. Um, I like to mince our cowboy candy so you can spoon a little bit on, on different kind of dishes. A lot of times people like to uh, heat up some cream cheese and pour a little bit of that on there. We use it for everything. Tacos, you name it. We put it on everything. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do a batch of um, Cowboy cowgirl candy, and we're gonna put them in the half pint jars. All right, so let's make some cowboy or cowgirl candy. Let's do it. Okay guys, we got our half pints. We got everything. We steamed everything with in the dishwasher. Now I use a product I've told you guys before. It's called One Step. It's a powder. You mix it with water and it's a no rinse sanitation. Uh, even the lids, we've sanitized that. So everything is sanitized. We're going to go ahead and start cooking the recipe. Okay guys, here's the cast of characters. We've got our jalapenos. Now I went ahead also to, um, I'm gonna crunch this recipe. This recipe calls for three pounds of jalapenos. We're gonna turn our scale on. Turn the scale on, it'll come on. There we go. We're gonna tear it, zero. We're gonna pour our jalapenos in there. And I think it's a, a little, just a smidge over a pound. So perfect, this recipe calls for three pounds. Uh, we're gonna do, crunch the recipe uh, to one pound. Uh, apple cider vinegar, sugar, citric acid, a little turmeric, celery seed, garlic, and we're gonna use Miss Lippy's Bayou Blend Voodoo um, dust, and I like the swamp mix too, that adds a lot of flavor. All right guys, we are gonna take the stems off the jalapenos, and because they're so small, I'm not gonna chop them. We're just gonna put them in the, the, the food processor. If you have gloves, Put on gloves. I ran out of gloves. I'm, I'm okay. Look, I'm an old retired chef. I can handle it. Just don't, make sure you don't rub your eyes or anything else. Uh, if you're handling these, wash your hands and you can actually pour a little bit of milk on your hands and that will take the heat away. I'm gonna use a paring knife, guys. It's just really easy to use. It's small. Just gonna take that off, throw it in the fruit processor. Just take that stem off. Seeds and all. Seeds and all. Guys, you know what? It, 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 you, I want the heat. Let's let's just be honest. You know, if you don't want the heat, you could take this, you could slice it down the middle, and you could take out the pith and the seeds if you want. You could literally cut that out if you don't want it hot. But hey, we want the heat. We're Texans. We like our heat. So I want to continue to do this. I'm going to cut these stems off, put them in the food processor. Uh, and then we'll we'll add the rest of the ingredients and I'll show you how we do this. Real simple. So this is going to be the time of the year, guys, uh, the next couple of months where we're going to be do a, doing a lot of canning and a lot of preserving, which I love it. It's fun. You know, being a retired chef, I still like to get in the kitchen. Um, we have so many new subscribers, guys. I really do appreciate it. We're trying to bring you Obviously, the purpose of our channel is to teach folks how to garden. We've been doing it for over 30 years here in the hot Texas heat. Hey, look, we're not perfect. We're still learning. Um, that's the cool thing, too, about being a part of this YouTube community is we're still learning from other folks. Heck, other folks that have been gardening longer than we have. Um, but also, too, you know, you've got to learn to preserve the harvest. 
you know, these jalapenos aren't going to stay fresh for, you know, longer than a week or so, even if you wrap them in paper towels and put them in the fridge. So you've got to, got to preserve your harvest. And these are the wonderful ways of filling up your pantry um, throughout the year. So we'll also pickle the jalapenos as well. Um, we'll do a lot of pickles. Uh, we've even sliced the jalapenos and, and put them in backpacks and freeze them. Uh, but a, a lot of the, the, the methods that you want to do, I think, for preserving is canning. Uh, you're going to get a, a shelf-stable product. Um, the quick pickle that we did on the past uh, video for the cucumbers, um, that's a refrigerator uh, uh, preserving, refrigerator pickling. It's just a quick pickle. you got to refrigerate it. Now, I have done pickles, too, to where you can them. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of that too, so you don't have to refrigerate it. You could put it in the jar and put it in the cabinet, and pull it out, uh, and use the product. Uh, we've done a lot of videos too, as well as um, with vegetables, but you know, prepping and um, uh, preserving meats, doing different cuts and backpacking and things like that. So if you're new to the channel, go back to the videos and look how we processed uh, different meat products like the pork loin is a really good example we buy a whole pork loin you save money on buying a whole muscle and you get a lot of different products out of it and you really save a lot of money so i'm going to continue with this we're going to finish this up and i'll take you to the next step folks let's have fun with these yeah weather has been great um it's amazing this year has been a blessing guys um we've had an actual spring where temperatures like today it's going to be 90 which hey i'll take it you know last year a couple of months ago we were in the hundreds we had no rain uh, and you know being a gardener you kind of keep track of the of the weather last year was tough and you can go back and see our videos from last year um, out in the garden we had 67 days no rain and temperatures were crazy 100 to 109 degrees that's all the peppers, so we've got them in here. So we're, it's, we're really having a great year, guys. Lots of rain. Um, tomorrow we're going to be taking you guys to our festival. Um, and that's going to be fun as well, too. Okay, guys, we've got all the peppers in the food processor. Um, you could slice these if you wanted to. I'd like to blix them. I guess that's a culinary term or a chef term. We're just going to mince them. I call it blix. Um, but we're going to get them into tiny little pieces. I just like the way um, it works when you use it on food products. That's about it. I think that is going to be the, the texture. Now be careful, guys. Don't lean up in here. It's, it's pretty hot. But that's the... Woo! I can smell that. But that's what we want right there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the brine. This is really important. Uh, I'm going to bring you in closer and we'll show you how we do this. So guys, I will post the recipe, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to tailor the recipe down. Um, you can do the three pounds of peppers. We have one pound of pepper, so I'm going to take the recipe and I'm going to crunch it down. I've been doing this for years as a chef. Uh, I know how to do it. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and just pour the ingredients in by sight. Um, I, you guys, if you know me for a while, Rochelle and I, we really don't measure anything. Rochelle measures, I don't. I just do it by eye. So we're going to go ahead with our cider. So for one pound um, of the peppers, I'm going to put about a cup and a half of the cider in. I'm going to go ahead and put about two and a half cups of the sugar. Remember, this is cowboy, cowgirl candy, so it's going to be sweet. But it's going to be spicy, too. Uh, with the peppers it's just a, an amazing combination you know I, and, and and let's be honest the really the favorite way to eat this is when you have a party and you have people come over you get that block of cream cheese and you pop it in the microwave for a minute and you pour that that cowboy cowgirl candy over the top yeah it's so good okay so we've got our sugar in there and now i'm going to go ahead and do some celery seed Guys, we keep, our, we keep our spices very organized up here and over on the other side of the kitchen. 
I'm kind of a spice freak. Uh, we buy our spices, um, surprisingly, at the local Indian markets. I love it. They have bulk spices. Everything that we get, we get in bulk, and then we put in our little container. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of that teaspoon or tablespoon. We got some garlic powder. And we're definitely going to heavy hand that. I like that garlic flavor. We're going to go ahead and put a little bit of turmeric. Just a smidge. Again, follow the recipe if you want. You can crunch the recipe. And we've got to have Miss Lippy's Bayou Blend Voodoo Dust. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and do the swamp mix. We want flavor, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and put citric acid in just to keep the vibrance and the color. All right, we're going to go ahead and heat that up. All right, guys, we've got our water bath canner. I've got hot water in there. We're going to put some um, distilled vinegar, and that's going to help keep the jars from getting cloudy. So we're going to go ahead and get that ready. Uh, right now, our brine is boiling. It's a simple syrup brine, guys. It's looking good. We're going to go ahead and simmer that just a little bit longer. I want those sugars to melt. And we're going to go ahead and start filling our jars with our jalapenos. So we've got eight half pint jars. We may not use all of them. I'm going to go ahead and start packing these jalapenos. We might even only use four, but we'll see. Yeah, guys, definitely comment on what you think. If you want to try this, this is really good. I mean, you could use other peppers too, really, if you wanted to. I've actually done a scotch bonnet, which is crazy hot. Um, we've done hot banana peppers. A lot of the times when we do, you know, banana peppers, we'll slice them um, kind of that way. We want to make sure we pack it in there. Pepperoncini type style, you know, you eat on a salad or something, or if you have a hot dog or Chicago dog or something cool like that. It's just a, it's a really good condiment to have. Pepperoncinis are really nice. Um, I just take the hot uh, banana peppers, uh, slice them, and pretty much do the same method, but I don't do the sugar. We leave it a vinegar-based, like the, the last video that we did with the cucumber pickles. That's kind of how we do that. We want to pack this in, but we want to allow that syrup, that syrup brine to get in there as well, too. That's going to solidify. We're almost to the end. I might just go ahead and one, two, three, four, five jars. Hey, I'm, I'm okay with that. That's five jars that we, we didn't have. Yeah, we, we, we really use this a lot. Especially during the holidays when you have, you know, snacks and hors d'oeuvres and chips and dip and fun things like that. The cowboy or cowboy ca cowgirl candy is really popular uh, here in our, our family. All right, so that's about it, guys. I want to try to get everything in there that I can. Looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and we'll get ready to pour the brine in. The sweet brine is looking good. I do like to simmer mine for a few minutes. I want to make sure that that sugar is totally dissolved. Now, your vinegar to sugar ratio pretty much is double, almost triple. So like if you do two cups of vinegar, you're going to have six cups of sugar. Uh, in this case, we downsized it. So, you, I mean, it's, it's cowboy cowgirl candy, guys. You want that brine to be really sugary. It's going to balance the heat, the Schofield levels of the jalapenos. And again, how simple is this? I mean, really simple. Uh, you're going to harvest jalapenos. You can even do a small batch. You can do maybe two jars. Just something really nice, guys, if you, if you water bath can it, that you can put in the cupboard and you can open up uh, and enjoy. Once you open it up, then obviously you're going to refrigerate it. Um, this is a wonderful con condiment to have. Um, and it lasts a pretty long time. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and ladle the sweet brine into the jars. And then we're going to put them in the water bath canner. Try not to make a mess, but I always do.
Here's a real cool trick that I learned as a chef for many years. When you go to ladle something, you see that how it drips like that. What you want to do is you want to set the ladle. See if you can see. Set the ladle touching, and then quickly quickly lift it, and you see how it doesn't drip. I think that's good right about there. I'm going to take this. It's hot, so I'm going to go ahead and move this. Oops. So I'm going to take the ladle, I'm going to fill it up, and I'm going to touch, touch the liquid and quickly lift. You don't get much drippage. Now we're going to have leftover brine and that's totally cool because I'm going to let it cool down and I'm going to refrigerate it because we're going to make a bunch more cowboy cowgirl candy during the year. We want to make sure that we fill up the pantry so we have during especially during the holiday seasons thanksgiving christmas new year's oh yeah really really love it and i'm i'm gonna actually do some cowboy cowgirl candy with scotch bonnets um we um we really planted a lot this year uh, we got our scotch bonnets from humble homestead peace and blessings friends we love your channel uh, wonderful channel guys I'll put a link to them in there also Miss Lippy's Bayou Blends if you don't have Miss Lippy's Bayou Blends then you don't have a complete kitchen that's what I'm talking about alright so we're going to keep going forward also too um, Cowboy Kent Rollins man one of the best cowboy cooks here in the country him and Shan have a wonderful YouTube channel gosh they're like two million subscribers but cowboy kent's a really nice guy we're hoping to get to meet him one day him and shan um, they they do tours they come into town but they've got a really good youtube channel uh, you know, obviously he he he's been cooking on ranches all across the country for years him and shan really do a good job and they have a wonderful channel and the cool thing about them is is they really honor veterans and first responders you know me being a veteran i really like that so they're good folks. I'll put a link to them as well, too. Not that they need help. <laughs> uh, I couldn't imagine having a million subscribers. But um, no, we're doing good, guys. We're really happy. We've got, we're coming up on 3,000 subscribers. So we're very blessed. Thank you so much. Hey, guys, we want to debubble, okay? So I'm going to take a chopstick and I'm just going to poke it around in there, stir it a little bit, make sure all the bubbles that we can are out. And it looks like we're, we're sitting pretty good here. Oh, it just smells so good. Okay, so we're gonna debubble. Let me bring you in a little closer so you can see the bubbles coming to the surface. So check it out. Just gonna move it around a little bit. See all them little bubbles? And you'll see the steam. Just wanna try and get as many of those out. That's all you can do. And then we're gonna clean the surface with a paper towel and some white vinegar. All right, guys, you want to wipe the top and the threads of the towel with a little bit of vinegar. You want to make sure that sugar is not going to impede the seal. And wipe it really good before we put it in the water bath canner. Really good seal. And then we're going to replace this mat. We're going to clean everything up. Okay. Finger tight, guys. That's it. If you if you crunch down on it, it's going to warp the jar, and it could it could open up while you're canning. Finger tight. Boom. Good. I'm just happy to have five jars of cowboy cowgirl candy. One of these is going straight into the fridge after we can it. All right. Pop them in. I'll probably have to add more water. I probably should use my tongs, but yeah, I'll do that. I don't want to crack the jars. Put them in there gently. 
Now these are going to water bath, they're going to simmer. We want at least an inch or two inches of water above the lids. Now the directions say 10 minutes guys, I'm going to go 15 uh, minutes on these. Just There's a lot of vinegar in there, a lot of acid, so they're going to be fine. But I'm going to go ahead and crank these up and I'm going to simmer these for 15 minutes. And we'll come back. Alright guys, 15 to 20 minutes. You can go longer than the 10 minute mark. Actually, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and let them sit here for about another five minutes just to kind of cool down just a little bit more and then we'll pull them out. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and pull these, pull these out. And we're going to set them on this rubber bar mat. Guys, this rubber bar mat, I, we bought a couple of these on Amazon. They are great for canning. They've got these little... Uh, little raised little pieces in here that helps helps kind of cool things down the air can circulate give you a close-up of what that looks like you know of course the, the brine is going to kind of separate as it cools down and the lids pop it'll solidify and it'll become um, kind of candied solid so we're going to go ahead and let these sit um, Probably about two hours before we do anything to them. Um, oh, they're popping already. Let me bring you in here. Yeah, these look really good. And here in a couple of minutes, they'll, they'll start popping. But you want to make sure too, after an hour or two, if you push down on it and it, and it has some play or give, it's not canned, don't worry. Take that one after it cools and then refrigerate it. Make sure that when you push down on the lid, it's solid. It's not, it's not dimpled like this. That is gonna pop here pretty soon. But we'll come back here in about an hour or so. Real quick guys, the water has vinegar in it, so it's not, it's not gonna be good to use to water your plants. But what I like to do with this is, I like to pour it in the sink and turn the disposal on and that will clean the pipes. It works. So I'm gonna dump that in the sink. Turn on the disposal, and that kind of helps clean the pipes. So, hey, it works. All right, guys, it's been about 30, 40 minutes. They're still kind of hot, Ooh. but they're looking good. These are gonna be shelf stable, not that they're gonna last very long. So as we harvest through the year, peppers, um, green beans, cucumbers, we pickle a lot of vegetables. I'm probably gonna even pickle some okra. Ms. Rochelle doesn't like that, but we, we really like our okra fried. So what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll, I'll save our okra, put it in a Ziploc when we have enough. I'll slice them, egg wash them, cornmeal them, put them back in a Ziploc, and then when we need to, we'll fry them. That's just the way we like okra. Uh, another thing that we're going to be doing, guys, is we're, we're harvesting a bunch of um, uh, yellow bell peppers or yellow um, banana peppers. Sorry. <laughs> at a grandpa moment. Uh, we're gonna probably pickle these whole, like a pepperoncini, and I'll show you how we do that eventually. Uh, just I usually just poke a hole, throw them in the jar, put the, uh, the vinegar, salt, brine in there, no sugar, um, and then we'll go ahead and water bath can them the same way we did this. Again, guys, you know, this is a sweet brine, you know, hence the, te the term cowboy, cowgirl, candy. So you're playing on the sweet, brine with the spicy jalapeno and it's a great balance but yeah we're gonna have fun tomorrow we are gonna go to our old town festival um, we've taken you guys on that before but we figured with all the new subscribers that we have we want to show you our little small town north of the big city of Austin uh, we're about an hour north uh, we um, it was a small town years ago but it's growing so but we're still here we're still enjoying our little homestead uh, we'll, we'll show you that video tomorrow. Hey guys, share, share our content with your friends. Let's teach everybody how to garden and how to preserve. Um, you don't have to be a chef like me to do something simple like this, and we'll teach you how to do it, okay? To all the new subscribers, hey guys, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and it's fun to have all your comments. 
And I'll be honest with you, I will take the time, Michelle and I will take the time to respond to your comments. Even though we're coming up on 3,000 subscribers, I'm going to take the time to make sure that we, we contact you, we respond to your comments the best that we can. Uh, we, we still both work. Uh, but share with your friends. Um, and let's, uh, let's preserve the harvest together, guys. Hey, we're going to show you some fun video tomorrow that'll probably come out Monday. Until then, hey guys, God bless and thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Take care.